Hey, it's Aoife. Farai. And Columbus. And we're three really good friends who really, really love to eat. This season on Stuffed, we're trying something different. We're gonna go out and make a meal from food that we source from the environment around us. Aoife is going card digging. Meanwhile, Columbus is gonna go into the woods to forage. And Farai over here is going to go pick some vegetables at the farm. And at the end of it all, we're gonna come together and make a meal out of it. Let's get stuffed! Hi! Well, hello there. Hi! How are you? Oh, we are fantastic. <laughs> Welcome out to Bali. So, what is it that you guys do? Uh, I'm a physiotherapist in town, proactive, came out road. I'm a project manager at Verifin. So how did you guys get into fishing? We are brand new to this. <laughs> okay. We just got a boat. We've been fishing for just over a month. I loved when people took me out yeah. um, and gave me that experience. So this is a new activity. And so we're just getting, getting our bearings. But yes, Super we love fun. it. Yeah. We get out every chance we get. It's uh, beautiful out here. The fish is fun and it's delicious to eat. Yeah, and there's also a bit of like competition to it, yeah. you know? And that makes it fun. Like it's sport. Like <laughs> Who who's going to get the, the biggest yeah. fish? Who's going to get the first fish? Yeah. So like, do you have any tips of what to do and what not to do? Well, Don't go overboard. Yeah, yeah. Stay, stay, <laughs> stay in the boat, boat. preferably. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean, you, you drop your line, you let it hit the bottom. Uh, caught a ground fish, so they're very close to the bottom. You reel it up a few feet, and then you just start jigging. So you want it, them to chase it a little bit, and uh, that's it. Once you feel it hook, you kind of pull up, start reeling in, and get it in the boat as fast as you can. If it's a big fish, then you kind of want to keep it in the water because uh, it could rip through the hook. So you just will take a gaff, scoop it up, and try and get it in the boat. A gaff is a giant hooky Thank thing. Thank you. Yes, it's a, it's a big pole. It's a giant hooky thing. Hook. I just learned about it last week. I, so. I lost too many fish, so <laughs> it, was, it was worth the whatever, 40 or 50 bucks to get that gaff. Yeah. So, yeah. You want to pull this back? Okay. And... A wide stance helps. I was going to say, yeah. how do you keep your balance? <laughs> hey, once this goes slack, which should happen very soon, reel up a little bit. Okay. And then right here, you're just going to haul up and down like this. and yeah. Say, here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> It really was. That, <laughs> like, that was probably one of the best experiences. Oh, really? We're yeah. so happy to hear that. So, I mean, how many fish did you catch today? A lot. Well, how, how? obviously way more than you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beginner's luck. Yeah. We, let, we let you catch them. Oh, uh, yeah. sure. Whatever makes you sleep at night. <laughs> Can I pull one out, or is that not an ethical, like ethical for I'm like foraging? Sure you, you, well, I wouldn't want to do it because um, out, yeah. you can actually get cat tetanus from rose thorns. So oh, okay. just the fact <laughs> that you, you would, you want to be like if we were foraging high rose bushes, I would wear long sleeves. 